So I have been single for Damn! six years. Six. Now I know what some of y'all probably thinking. How, why, what made you do that? You gonna die alone? <laughs> I get it, I get it. But I've been single for six years. And of course, it was by choice. Y'all know that. You know what I mean? I ain't, got, I ain't never got a problem finding a man. Mm, yeah. You got a problem finding a commitment, though. The difference. Man sleeping with you is not commitment. But for me, I wanted to take the man out of the equation for a little while. And I wanted to just be single and just be in my own energy and spend time with myself. In other words, I want to go out there and date as many men as I can and have sex without any kind of commitment because I'm entitled to it. That's what that means. You know, and, and that time has lasted for six years. <laughs> I ain't going to lie, I'm having a good time. Do you hear me? It's been a good time. It's been a good time. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those women that don't need a man. I need one of y'all. Because let me tell you something. I had to change the flush master on my toilet. Do you see these nails? <laughs> oh, hell no. I don't have no business digging in the damn toilet to try to, to try to check, change the damn flush master. I had to YouTube it. But anyhow, I have been enjoying, you know, being single. And I have been really um, selfish. You know, I've been selfish with my time, with my energy. You know, just selfish with myself. I just, I didn't want to share me for a while. You sharing you all the time when you're dressing like that. Let's keep it a thousand. You're sharing something. I think that should be okay for a lot of women to do in men. Like some of y'all men, y'all need to take a break. <laughs> okay, for it fall off. But um Don't speak for us. Please. Speak for yourself. I just didn't really wanna share myself for a while. And I have really been enjoying myself by myself. And don't get me wrong, you know, of course it gets lonely. Well, only at night. <laughs> when I want somebody to give me a booty rub, bitch. Be lonely as hell rubbing on myself, but. You caused all of this. And that's the truth. See, she, she's laughing and she's got this interesting kind of chuckle or whatever, but that's all like nervous pain and all of that. What she just described is what she wants. She is lonely. And she's realizing that her sexuality is not getting her what she wants. But she won't come out and just say that straight out, though. It has been simply amazing. And I suggest everybody just take a little time off, especially if you're single. You know what I mean? Like, it's okay. You don't take the man out of the equation sometimes. You know what I mean? Take the man out of the equation and just really work on yourself, ladies. That's what I've been doing. I've been doing it for six years. <laughs> but yeah, you're saying you want a man. It makes no sense. So why are you saying to take time to yourself, take the man out of the equation, equation, be selfish, but then you're also saying that you need a man and you want a man. And you made the little joke about changing something in your nails and all that. What you're saying is that you really want a man, but see, you want to still portray yourself as not caring, like it doesn't bother you, like it, it's cool and you're having the best time of your life. None of us are meant to be alone, period. It's just not how we're supposed to be as human beings. So you can get on videos and, and laugh and, and front all you want to, but the bottom line is that you want a guy and you need to be real with yourself and stop playing games. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, like I told myself after this year, I'm gonna be open. I think I'm gonna be open to dating again. And um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back into dating, the dating scene, y'all. And I already know what y'all thinking. Don't do it, sus. It's got piss, shit, STDs, and rabies in it. <laughs> huh? The dating pool is trash. But I, I don't believe that. I believe it's good men still left out here, just like I know it's good women left out here. But taking time off for myself these past years, this is the best I ever looked. The most. The best she's ever looked? Look, guys, six years, that's a long ass break. If you got to take a break for six years, something is wrong and what happens after the six years after you've developed new habits you're just going to be able to change that go back in the clock you know because you decide that you want to no it doesn't work like that and as a woman now you have more baggage you have more bodies and when she's saying date she wants to date she means date to try to get a commitment from a guy it does not mean that she's not out there having sexual encounters with men now
money I have ever made. Oh, I'm loving it here. And I'm like, damn, am I ready to share myself with somebody? Nope. I mean, I don't know, y'all. What y'all what y'all think? Should I should, should I just stay say so? <laughs> when I think about getting back out there in some relationship. It's scary. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's scary because let me tell y'all something. I don't have nobody calling my phone. You know what I mean? Worrying a bit, trying to see where I'm at and what I'm doing. Like, I ain't got to answer to nobody. I've been in that energy for a long time. And so I, I, I think to myself, like, am I going to be able to come out of this? You know, am I going to be able to share myself and not be selfish no more? I think, I, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I'm talking shit right now. <laughs> I might change my mind tomorrow. <laughs> and you will change your mind tomorrow because you want control. And you know, the only way to keep control is just to stay exactly the way you are now. It sounds good to talk about it. And really, if you really want to get back out there and you're putting yourself out there on social media, you got your breasts all out. And you know what? For an older woman like that, it really is just, it just, it's not a good look. It's even worse than the younger 20 year olds doing it. I mean, that's just not a good look. And it just screams desperation. You know, and as a man, I'll give you my opinion on this. If I were looking at her and I was saying, okay, you know, maybe I'm interested in her. The first thing I'm looking at is the tattoos. Don't really like that. A lot of men don't. A lot That doesn't mean a man won't have sexual encounters with a woman that has tattoos. Understand. Next, her age. Next, her breast, the way she's showing her body. The next thing, how she talked about money and independence and how not she, she's not wanting to give all these things up, right? The way she's communicating, the fact that she's using certain curse words selectively and stuff like that. And be, to, to be uh, quite frank, she's very loud. You know what I mean? Men think about all these things. See, women, a lot of women tend to think that if a man sees her, then she's a good candidate. No, we have a checklist just like you do. The thing is, is our checklist is more realistic. It lives in reality. It, it abides by our biological nature. You women tend to change that, what we call, what men call a lot of times moving the goalposts. You over here, you over there. Look. If you want a man to respect you, don't come out with your breasts all out like that. You don't, if you're, if you're single for six years and you didn't took all this time for six years, that means that you're selfish. You said it. You said you're selfish. Men don't want to be with selfish women. If you're selfish, that means you're selfish. It's all about you. So what the hell are you trying to be with a man for? So you're not going to give that up. You're not going to give up that freedom. You enjoy it. Because even though you're not in a committed relationship, you're always getting hit on by men. That strokes your ego. See, that's a dangerous thing that you women have to understand about yourself. Your ego can get you in a lot of problems. That need to have attention and to have men squawking at you and looking at you. Hey, mama, you fine. Your body is banging and all that. See, you need that. You need to feel desired. But it can also be something that hurts you if you flaunt it too much. You waste time and you're flaunting it. Just like her. She's not going to find what she thinks she's going to find out there. She's going to find what she's portraying. She's going to find what she deserves. Because, look, we all get what we deserve. Who we are, the way we portray ourselves, people react to that accordingly. So if you portray yourself in a certain way, you're going to get certain type of reactions from that. It is what it is. There's nothing conservative about her. You can't look at her and say, hey, this is an older woman. Maybe she's a little bit more conservative. You know, she's trying to be respectful. You don't see that in this video. You really don't. And I'm not talking about her, her freedom to express her body and show her body and all that. You can do whatever it is you want to do as a woman. But one thing you cannot do is expect men and other people not to have their own reaction and their own opinion about it. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Make sure to like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you're on TikTok, go ahead and give me a, a follow on there and love the video over there. I'd appreciate it. As always, have a great day. Peace. May the force be with you.